and what's going on YouTube and welcome back for another FIFA 17 player review where we take an in-depth look at the 89 rated third inform Lukaku. Now guys, if you have been enjoying the reviews, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you've not already. And also guys, if there's any players you'd like to see on the channel, make sure to leave a comment down below. But let's jump in to his overall record for me. Now I picked this card up for 680k on the Xbox and guys you played 6 games for me scoring only 6 goals with 0 assists. Now I applied that Hunter Chem style to him to increase his pace and shooting but let's take a look at his in game stats. He's got 94 positioning, 94 finishing, 98 shot power, 91 ball control with 89 dribbling, 87 stamina, 99 strength. He has a tries to beat defensive line trait as well as the strength and complete forward specialities, those medium medium work rates, the three star skills and a four star weak foot. Alright guys, now the first pro we're going to have for Lukaku is his finishing guys. Now I only had six goals in the six games with Lukaku, but I know what he is capable of. I have used every variation of his card on this game it was just one of those days where the players were just stuck in mud for me but man whenever you get Lukaku in front of goal guys he is going to convert chances the finishing the shot power the four star weak foot he has it all in front of goal he is so composed he can hit those long shots so don't be afraid with Lukaku he has the power to strike the ball from distance and he is going to score some worldies now guys, for my second pro for Lukaku, it is his strength, and very similar to his 88 card, he is just an absolute beast, guys. There is no taking the ball off Lukaku. If you're smashing the shield button, he can hold off anyone from the ball in this game, and he can just plow straight through defenders as well. He's just sensational at hold up play, and guys, I would pass it to him and just shield the ball and wait for my supporting attackers to make runs in behind and make an easy pass. Now that leads me to another unlikely pro for Lukaku, and it's his playmaking ability, guys. He has 85 short passing, and guys, he is excellent at linking up the play through balls one two passing over the top don't hesitate with him because he is actually quite good at linking up the play as a striker he has the vision the crossing he can dribble through maybe one or two players and make an easy easy pass and set up tons of goals for you now that leads me to my last pro for Lukaku and it's his combination of pace and ball control now when this monster gets to speed there is just no catching him guys he keeps the ball extremely tight and with it, how powerful and strong he is, there's just no taking the ball off him. You're going to score goals with him. It's just that easy. Now, my the last thing I want to mention with Lukaku is his links. Being Belgian in the, in the Premier League, he links to all sorts of wonderful players, guys. Dries Mertens, Nangolin, Carrasco, as well as the likes of Ibrahimovic, uh, Christian Eriksen, or Eden Hazard. Now, guys, this card is absolutely incredible, but he has a couple of cons for me. Uh, one consistent really across all his cards is his agility and in hindsight it may have been better to use the engine chem style to him just to give him a bun in his agility but he sort of just lacks that quickness about him when moving around uh, he still turns like a tractor and that may be something uh, that deters some of you from using him now the second is the lack of the four star skills and it's striker guys it's just one of those things that people like myself tend to love um, but who knows, maybe EA gives him 4 star skills when they do the upgrades. Now since he costs around 590,000 coins on the Xbox at this moment in time, do I think he's worth the coins? Honestly guys, having used both the 88 and 89 very close uh, in time together, I didn't feel any difference between the two cards. So I would highly recommend picking up the 88 rated card and just saving a couple hundred thousand coins for the rest of your team or potentially waiting until he receives that highly anticipated player of the month card. But guys, that's going to bring us to a close on the 89 rated third inform Lukaku. If you have any players you'd like for me to review, make sure to leave a comment down below and I'll make my way through them. And as always, guys, if you haven't already, hit that like and subscribe button because what are you gonna do check you guys later